Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another video where I'm going to be talking about a couple of my Grand Champ reward games uh, that I played this season. Uh, I did get my Grand Champ rewards recently, not uh, not able to get my Hoops rewards or Rumble rewards quite yet. Uh, but yeah, we did get Grand Champ. I'm not sure if this is actually unranked, but it should still be in there, um, at least uh, as far as I can remember. But these are two of the games that are more in line with what I want to be doing and more in line with what I'm trying to do when I'm playing uh, solo queue uh, uh, towards the, the Grand Champ ranks. Um, I've already uploaded one video about my journey to Grand Champ this season and those games were very different from these ones that you're about to see today. Um, and you'll notice if you spied the results of these two games I'm going to show you, we did not concede any goals in these games myself and the teammate that I randomly queued up with. So we're still looking here um, against a pre-med team. like to cheat in those situations because pre-med teams do like to cheat a lot of the time and you don't want to leave them with a free ball in the middle. So the first thing and the first um, uh, real strategy that I was trying to force myself to make happen in all these games, these games that you're going to see today on uh, in these replays, and also the other games that I got uh, Grand Champ wins in, was to fake more challenges. And that is really something that helped me a lot this uh, season, especially when I was last man back. Uh, and I think the, the other game that I'm going to show you is a real good example of that. But this game um, is more of an example of I, how I like to play offense. So really ro uh, ro low risk taking, I should say. Um, and I want to point out the second thing that I was focusing on, and that is minimizing my recovery time. And this game is, I think, a pretty good example of that because every time I'm making an offensive play, I'm really thinking about how can I get back into defense if this doesn't go well. Because a lot of defensive or a lot of offensive plays in 2v2 will just miss by a very small margin, but then the uh, the opponents can just run the ball into your open net if you've both you and your teammate taking yourselves out of the game. Um, and you'll notice the other, the other team have done it here. They've both double committed for a ball that really neither of them need to go for. And they take themselves out of the game. And it's an easy open net for my teammate there because I managed to get a 50-50 in the air. Um, so they're really they're, they're doing pretty much the opposite of uh, what I'm trying to do in these games and what I'm telling you guys to do today. And that is recovery time. It's so important. So there's a nice little uh, side flip flick or side flip uh, wall clear fail. Meant to side flip there, um, but didn't get it executed properly. I expected Junior to go up at the back there, whatever his name is, but he actually sat on the ground. So, yeah, we're looking at this game mainly for recoveries. Every time that I'm making offensive plays on this, I really want to quickly get back into position as early as I can and don't want to take myself out of the game. Here's another good example of this. It's very tempting to dodge off the wall there, but I reckon if I dodge off the wall in a position like that, my teammate probably not scoring every time or he's probably not scoring enough of the time it looks like the opponents might have just an easy easy 50 50 uh as a goalie there so i'm not going to dodge off back walls just going to stay um in the game stay on the ground try and control the situation especially when you've already got three goal leads so not jumping off walls a big part of my offense in uh 2v2 there's another one just not jumping off that wall to center it just stayed on the wall got a bit unlucky with how that bump went and then i think i missed yep two boosts in a row but <laughs> to my credit we st we stay on the ball want to keep the pressure up here but that's not a ball we can uh actually reach read is clear back off and okay this is actually one of the rare aerials that i that i will take but the reason i want to take that one is because i am the furthest forward player in my team and the uh, other team only have one player back between me and the ball. So if I kind of hit that ball at all past him, it's an open net for my teammate. So I thought, why not? We might as well go for that one. Because um, there's a big, big win potential. However, I think not going for that ball would have also been perfectly viable. Because we're already in a three goal lead in that spot. Nice little open net miss there. You can always <laughs> expect to see at least one of those in my games. Here, just try to control the ball in uh, in the midfield. Lots of fake 50-50s. Actually left my teammate out to dry a bit there. Probably should have played the ball instead of the boost, but uh, looks like we're doing okay. Every 50-50 that we are taking looks to be pretty safe. No options for the opponents to dunk on us. And that guy looks like he's been it. We're just going to put that one in as well. A couple of goals this game were just near post pounces by us uh, because it looked like the defender was in a little bit of an awkward spot. So that's 5-0. But if we think back to how many openings the opposition have had to score this game, there really have not been very many. And that's because whenever they are attacking, there's 
usually two players for them to get by. And then we look at the goals that me and my teammate have scored in this game. Have they been scored on uh, opponents who are both there to defend simultaneously? Not usually. There's been actually a couple of goals that are wide open nets and a couple of goals that are just a single solo player defending. And that's not what you want in 2v2. You want to always be relevant and never leave your teammate in awkward positions in defense. It's okay to trust your teammate for the occasional touch in uh, 2v2, but you don't want to just run away and leave him in the middle of nowhere uh, defending against two players. So there we go, 6-0. And I think this game was a pretty good example of fast recoveries and uh, just always trying to be relevant in defense. Could have played it a lot better, but it was an okay game. Very, very solid win. So here's the other uh, replay that I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, playing with Kevin here, another solo game. Everybody's so solo in this lobby, actually. And this one is a game that I was pretty happy with for uh, my fake challenges. I think I managed to relieve a lot of pressure and take very minimal risks by faking a lot of challenges. So here's an opportunity to run onto the goalie and get a no jump bump on him. He jumped, he jumped over our bump here, but in doing so, missed a save on that shot. And you'll notice, similarly to what I was talking about in the last replay, that the recovery there was pretty good for us. So we were not out of the game that long. Even if our teammate did hit the bar, we were going to be in defense to uh, hopefully save a counter attack. Okay, that guy actually bumped us up the wall here. So that was a little bit awkward, but we managed to knock this one to safety. Tried to get that boost in the corner before the opponent takes it, but he's going to steal it away. So this is a little spot that I've been enjoying playing in uh, in 2v2. You'll notice there I'm just sitting on the near post shadowing. So I, I think shadowing at the near post in twos is, I think, maybe even better than it is in 1v1 because you have that extra player in your team who can pressure the ball and you can just sit there and shadow. And if the ball does bounce off the near post, you can get a counter-attack goal for free. And if it doesn't, if it goes across the goal, you can still chase it over there to clear it. Uh, maybe take the opponents away from the ball in that way. Yeah, I don't know about going to the wall here. This was <laughs> a little bit unnecessary. We didn't land very well, but get the job done. Easy saves for the time being. But yeah, this game when I played it, I really felt like I was always present in defense but every time the opponents were trying to attack it felt like I was always at least doing something whether or not I was relying on my teammate to help it felt like at least I was always present pressuring the ball or um, not you know being in the middle of nowhere completely out of the game and that's something that I really want to highlight for you guys today if you want to get uh, a rank up whatever rank you're at this this advice can help you just try and be more relevant in defense or avoiding a bump there have to go sideways and then pass it to yourself off the side well i like both those plays because we've kept it away from the opponents doesn't it doesn't need to go straight towards their net uh, we know that boost is likely to spawn because nobody's been there for a while and let's just bring it down again look for more uh control plays so we just bait that 50 50 with the, the delayed challenge ball's rolling a bit too direct onto the net so that was a mess up by me if we roll that more down the line rather than at the goal i think we would have had a better chance to save it but silver lining is our recovery is very good and we're able to get back and make the save although i think it could have been you know a tiny bit better and looks like a repeat of before this time i don't have the ball rolling on target so we're able to pop it on target over the defender and that's 2-0 but solid stuff so far uh just focusing as i said before on recoveries always being present when the other team are attacking always being present in defense when the other team are attacking and not looking, not running into any risky 50-50s. So I don't know what happened there. Looks like the opponent might have disconnected. But we've hit the bar and our teammate doesn't get the rebound. Um, but yeah, that, those are the highlights for today. That I'm going to be uh, looking to make some training packs for you guys just in, in other news. To hopefully be able to help out some people with uh, mechanics that I think are, are important on your um, road up to Grand Champ and even higher. And uh, those would mostly be to do with shadowing and, if, you know, efficient dribbling, quick dribbling. Because you got to dribble fast in 2v2. You don't want to get demoed from behind. And, of course, the boomers. You can't forget the boomers. You need to be good at those if you want to get high in 2v2 these days. But there's going to be lots of fake challenges here. Because I don't want to take myself out of the game. And I'm really not that worried if he goes into the corner here. That's fine. He's just going to pass it to my teammate. We can back off and go to goal. Shadow in the near post. I think if he shot that really well, it could have been a goal. But this team that we're against haven't been too good with their shooting. So we're not too worried about that. And more just time wasting. Just get the ball clear. Safety. Don't run into any 50-50s. Don't get dunked on. It's been the name of the game so far. Just very organized, I think very deliberate movement. Trying to read where the ball is going at all times. And then trying to be there before it arrives. But towards the end of this game, um, 
realize that the other team didn't really have too much going in offense and sometimes you can realize things like this in 2v2 you'll notice okay the other team are not particularly good at dribbling so we're not afraid of letting them come close to our goal with dribbles sometimes if you run into an opponent who's very good on the ground um, and putting in some threatening shots, threatening dribbles. You can't afford to let them get that close. You have to put in a few more actual challenges. But if you get a read on the opponents that they're not that great at flicking, then just fake those challenges. Avoid the demos, avoid the bumps, and you're going to be very, very happy for it. So there was one not really respecting that guy's flick ability because nothing that he's done so far this game has been too scary. Um, so we're just playing around what we've seen. And with only 30 seconds left, still two goals in it nothing to be worried about one last thing i was going to mention this game and it's just a slight mentality thing that i've been trying to do um and that is let's say you're two zero ahead in 2v2 just like we are right now and then you concede happens a lot you do you're two up and then you concede one goal you're only ahead by one think about how different you feel in that situation compared to if you're tied one all and then you score both those things are the, they're the same scoreline exactly but one of them feels really really good you're like nice we're in front let's go get this w the other you uh you don't feel so great because the other team are starting to catch up but actually just ignoring the who scored like every reset that happens in rocket league you just have to actually just reset your brain as well reset your mind and just start again from as if it was nil nil every single goal that goes in doesn't matter if the other team just scored the fourth goal in in a row to start coming back against your five nil that's uh i think really important mentally to not tilt and not start throwing the game but yeah those were just a couple of games i wanted to show you guys because i know a lot of people were uh wondering what do what do all other games uh of mine look like because obviously the two that i uploaded before on my uh grand champ grind were not the best well these two are a little bit better and they're nothing spectacular the consistent thing between these games and the other games i've shown you guys this season are that i'm really not doing anything too fancy just trying to play as solid as possible trying to read the game as well as possible trying never to take myself out of that game and yeah this is what those games can look like there are a lot there are a few other games um that went uh, you know pretty similar to this just solid play resulting in wins uh but these were the two that, that were the most interesting uh so i thought i would share them with you guys hopefully that was helpful or interesting to some of you but like i said before i'm going to be making a couple of training packs uh to to show to you guys that hopefully help uh help you on that grind um not sure i think the season is in fact ending pretty soon so you better get on those pretty quick um i better get on those pretty quick as well um but hey if it doesn't work out there's always next season but best good best luck to you good luck to all of you who are still on that grind for those new ranks for those new rewards uh i'm sure you're gonna get it you just gotta stay positive and stay consistent but yeah for now i'm going to uh leave you with those two replays and head off to record some more 1v1s. So I'll see you guys later. Take care.